Oh, Carter, Carter, wherefore art thou, Carter? Deny thy JPEG and refuse thy open sea. Disclaimer, we are not professionals, we are not financial advisors. This is not financial advice. Do your own due diligence and enjoy the video. What's going on, guys? VV Vision back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Andre Jick's NFTs that he owns because he just dropped a video. And yeah, let's get into it right away because we already did this once and my computer died <laughs> right after we finished. Super tough. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> So yeah, he just posted this video today and you guys should check it out. Link down in the description. By the way, everybody that joined the Discord, thank you so much because that's so sweet. Everybody's joining. Everybody's talking. Everybody's posting. So that's sweet. Uh, also, Brendan, you need to get on the server. What are yeah. you doing, man? Come on, hop on, man. You gotta hop on. You gotta <laughs> hop on. All right, let's get into it. So <sighs> a little speed run here. Yeah, so Todd McFarlane, he this is his first NFT. If you guys didn't see, this is the one he posted on on his Instagram. Todd McFarlane sitting at $1,785. We got Superman right here that he did put a little segment in about him, and Superman is 900 Me and Ben both have a Superman. We, we think that's pretty good. One to pick up. Nice set. Me and both Ben yes, both don't sir. have a Todd McFarlane, though, because <laughs> we just got in too late, and so we just haven't purchased him yet. Um, yeah. <laughs> some of these could be uh donations towards him. So the Captain America is like 40, the board cubes are like 40. Um, is that a Myrmicorno? Yeah, uh, probably like 30. Unicorno, I think. Okay, then yeah, so we don't really know exactly which ones are donations, but we can see some in here that are all like 100. We got Ice King. Me and Ben were talking about in the video last that um, this is part of the first Adventure Time set, and he seems pretty hype about Cartoon Network and everything being on the app. So we could see this being he could have picked up the full set. We don't know, but it shows the Ice King here. And then in a second, he shows Finn right there. Yes, so sir. He's got those boys. Ice King's like 135. Finn is around 55. And then he right here is talking about the Labicorn and... I commented on this video and said like Labicorn for the win. And he liked it and he commented <laughs> like some, I don't remember what he commented, but yeah. So he likes the Labicorn. He said in the video a lot, he must've got this Spider-Man probably on drop. Yeah. I'm wondering if he caught the secret drop. Cause if he did, I feel like that shows how involved he is on the app. Oh yeah. So cause he does have those posters from the secret drop. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. And I don't know. In the previous video that got deleted, I was saying I think he's been a little sneaky and I think he's a little more bullish on this than he like talks about. It yeah. seems like so. I think he is, too. Um, so, yeah, he probably got that from the drop. This one is the Fortnite skin, I think, right now, which is the Batman who laughs. I think it's around seventy five dollars. The DeLorean behind him, he loves uh, Back to the Future because in the first video he posted about Omi and Vivi, he was wearing a back to the future shirt on so he definitely likes that movie and he you can see right here he has the interactive delorean which is at 429 dollars this is his prize possession yes sir fourteen thousand dollars for the <laughs> spider-man secret rare he also has a uh, spider-man common which is 92 dollars in here and if you guys don't have the gems for $14,000, like me and Ben both don't, then definitely <laughs> just pick up the common because, I mean, 92 is still a decent amount, but it's the first Marvel drop ever, first Marvel NFT ever on VV and ever in general. So are all of the, the first Spider-Man drop first appearance? Uh, yeah. The first, like this drop right here is. Yeah. All all Man, like i should them. not have sold mine i got mine on drop for like 50 or something or like maybe 100 but you had the tough. uncommon right yeah I, I had the dude who was like i don't know in the air doing oh so you had the shooting. rare the rare is like 205 he, yeah i think that's what i had yeah yeah i mean all the ones that he publicly disclosed that he bought i definitely think are good investments overall and i think the fact that he's buying them kind of shows that because he sees like the long long-term potential of holding a lot of these especially like he made comparisons to like the the rock jpeg the pet rock jpeg nfts and i don't 
that comparison, I think, just kind of stands out. I It got me thinking, you know, long term, long term with these, especially he really emphasized how this is like the very first appearance of a Marvel NFT and of like the most popular Marvel character. Like, I don't know. I definitely slept on it and I missed out. So I do regret that. But yeah, <laughs> if Overall, you guys can still get in. <laughs> yeah, you guys definitely have to check this video out, by the way, because it just makes you so much more bullish on it because <laughs> just like seeing like a millionaire just talking about how sweet it is and like how big of a following because he has 1.7 million followers and so here he talks i mean he shows like his thing a little bit he has the ghostbusters ultra rare and also what else does he have ghostbusters ultra rare and I know you saw oh, and then yeah. the Star Trek ultra rare too. Yes, he's also got a lot of posters and I, I don't know if he's just trying to complete sets or if he likes them or if he has donated them. Cause he did put his QR code for donations also. I feel like it, either donations or he actually wanted them because aren't those like, I guess one of those is like the very first James Bond drop, right? Yeah, I think, so I, yeah, I think so. I could see that maybe, or maybe, I mean, yeah, it's hard to tell if anyone donated, but he also probably wanted to fill his wall since he's showing the vault and it probably didn't want empty walls. (laughs) And I don't think he cares about spending a couple hundred bucks on some paintings when you're a millionaire, (laughs) but, uh, so he, he shows the Marvel comics right here. He shows the secret rare and then he shows the common or I think he showed the common before, but the common sitting at only 60 and that's the first NFT comic on VV ever. So I bet he definitely has that, or at least some version. I don't think he picked up the secret rare, but could have, you never know, but he didn't. I feel like he would have said something if he picked up the secret rare. Did the Marvel number one comic drop before Spider-Man or no? Um, From 65. I bought it 65 like the no, other day. No, like did it drop before the Spider-Man dropped on the app? Oh, did it, did ye- it, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering is like, is the Marvel? Oh, yeah, one? it did. It did because the first Marvel drop was Spider-Man. Yeah, but then wouldn't it be the comic technically? I mean, like the first collectible drop would be Spider-Man. Then, oh, right? no, but... I think they dropped Spider-Man before the comics. Oh, okay. Yeah. So... Yeah, he does a little video here, a little cool little <laughs> animation showing it off to the to all his subs. And then the last thing we want to talk about is somewhat, yeah, right here. Every time Andre has <laughs> talked about VV, he always talks about the Powerpuff Girls. And right here, he shows all three of them. So Blossom sitting at 113, Buttercup sitting at 150. And bubbles, there's only 600 of, so she's sitting at 4,000. I definitely think he picked these up, possibly picked up the set. Don't know for sure. I own the set of this. Um, so, yeah, other than that, there he shows the professor right after for 2.3 thousand and him for 6.5. But I don't know if he picked those up because I feel like he would have said something if he would have picked those up. Too. Yeah. So. That's pretty much all. We just wanted to get a quick look, especially if anybody doesn't really know about VV and they don't know what the NFTs are or how much they are going for, then this will give you a little bit of a idea of what they're going for. So yeah, if you guys like the video, drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more, hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified whenever we post. Join the Discord server. Yes, link sir. down in the description. Link, pin the comment. Join the Discord server. Join the Discord server. Join the Discord server. Let's go. Oh me homies, let's go!